my dear students today we shall discuss queues queue works on the principle of first in first out or last in last out the element that goes into the queue first will be the first element to come out of the queue similarly the element that goes into the queue last will be the last element to come out of the queue yes there are three operations with respect to queue as follows insert the insert operation will insert an element into the queue second operation is delete the delete operation will delete an element from the queue third operation is display the display operation will display all the elements of the queue there are two types of implementations of queue array implementation linked list implementation uh, very important need to understand these two important points an element can be inserted only at the rear end of the queue i'll repeat an element can be inserted only at the rear end of the queue second point an element can be deleted only from the front end of the queue i'll repeat an element can be deleted only from the front end of the queue very important points now let us discuss a film theater queue example so when we were studying engineering we used to stand in the queue and buy tickets for the film but now it's all online booking you can book tickets online no need of standing in the queue now let us consider the maximum size of the queue as 5 mean only 5 people can stand in the queue therefore max size is equal to 5 this is the ticket counter okay now since max size is equal to 5 there are only 5 positions yes position number 0 position number 1 position number 2 position number 3 position number 4 only 5 positions are there yes front will contain the position of the first element in the queue rear will contain the position of the last element in the queue initially now the queue is empty since the queue is empty front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1 meaning when front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1 the queue is empty so the condition for queue empty is front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1 yes front is equal to minus 1 rear is equal to minus 1 now because the queue is empty now a great personality will come and stand in the queue to buy ticket so what we should do before he comes and stands in the queue we should make front is equal to 0 and rear is equal to 0 and who is that person who comes and stand in the queue dr rajkumar annavaru popularly called as annavaru in karnataka a superstar a great personality of kannada film industry dr rajkumar i am a big fan of dr rajkumar okay now uh, he is at position 0 so who is the first person in the queue first person in the queue is dr rajkumar who is the last person in the queue no dr rajkumar only therefore front is equal to 0 and rear is equal to 0 now another great personality will come to the queue before he comes what we should do we should increment rear so rear becomes 1 now let us see who comes into the queue nt ramrao garu superstar of telugu film industry he will come to the queue now who is the first person in the queue annavaru dr rajkumar who is the last person in the queue nt ramrao garu therefore the value of front is 0 and the value of rear is 1 next another big personality will come and stand in the queue before he comes what we should do increment rear so rear becomes 2 let us see who comes amitabh bachchan ji okay superstar of hindi film industry so he comes to the queue now who is the first person in the queue annavaru dr rajkumar who is the last person in the queue amitabh bachchan ji therefore the value of front is 0 and the value of rear is 2 now another superstar will come and stand in the queue before he comes what we should do rear should be incremented yes rear becomes 3 so who comes now rajnikanth sir thalaiwa style king superstar of tamil film industry rajnikanth sir he will come and stand in the queue now who is the first person in the queue annavaru dr rajkumar who is the last person in the queue rajni kant sir therefore the value of front is 0 and the value of rear is 3 now another superstar will come to the queue before he comes what we should do we should increment the value of rear so rear becomes 4 now who will come mumuti sir he is the superstar of malayalam film industry he will come and stand in the queue now who is the first person in the queue dr rajkumar annavaru who is the last person in the queue mumuti sir therefore the value of uh, front is 0 and the value of rear is 4 okay 
Now, all the positions in the queue are occupied, therefore the queue is full. The queue is full for all, as all positions in the queue are occupied, the queue is full. So now, the condition for queue full is rare is equal to max size minus 1. You can just observe max size minus 1 is 5 and rare is 4. Whenever rare becomes max size minus 1, the queue is full. Now, the ticket counter clerk will issue ticket to Dr. Rajkumar, Annauru. So, Annauru will go inside the theater. Yes, Annauru will go inside the theater. So, what should happen to the value of rent and rare? Friend should be incremented because now the first person in the queue is N.T. Ram Rao Garu and the last person in the queue is Mumuti sir. Therefore, friend is equal to 1 and rare is equal to 4. Now, uh, the ticket clerk will give ticket to uh, N.T. Ram Rao Gar also and N.T. Ram Rao Gar, he will go inside the theater. Therefore, what should happen to the value of friend? Friend becomes 2. Friend becomes 2 because the first person in the queue is Amitabh Bachanji and the last person in the queue is Mumuti sir. Therefore, the friend is 2 and the rare is 4. Now, ticket issuing clerk will give ticket to Amitabh Bachanji also. So, Amitabh Bachanji also will go inside the theater. Therefore, what should happen to the value of friend? Friend becomes 3 because the first person in the queue is Rajni sir and the last person in the queue is Mumuti sir. Therefore, the value of friend is 3 and the value of rare is 4. Now, the ticket issuing clerk will give ticket to Rajni sir also. Rajni sir also will go inside the theater. Yes. Now, what should happen to the value of friend? Friend is equal to 4. Now, who is the first person in the queue? Mumuti sir. Who is the last person in the queue? Mumuti sir only. There is only one person in the queue. Now, ticket issuing clerk will issue ticket to Mumuti sir also. Mumuti sir also will go inside the theater. Therefore, after he goes, and also now carefully understand, now friend is equal to rare. You see, friend is equal to 4 and rare is equal to 4. Friend is equal to rare and both of them are not equal to minus 1. Then there is only one person in the queue. That is another important point. When friend is equal to rare and both of them not equal to minus 1, then only one person in the queue. Yes. Now, after Mumuti sir also goes inside the theater, what should happen to the value of rent and rare? They should become minus 1 because the queue becomes empty. So, rent is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1. The queue becomes empty. I think deletion operation also you understood with respect to this queue. Next, last is display. To display the elements of the queue, we have to display all the elements from friend to rare in the queue. Simple. From friend to rare, all the elements you display, that's what is the display. I think with this example, you understood how to insert an element into a linear queue, how to delete an element from the uh, linear queue, and how to display the elements in the linear queue. Very good. Now, let us implement linear queue using array. This is array implementation of linear queue. So, we declare one array int a of 5. So, size is 5. So, maximum size of the linear queue is 5. So, this is our array we are using to implement linear queue 0 to 4. Okay. Now, initially the queue is empty and hence friend is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1. Yes, friend is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1 because the queue is empty. Nobody is there in the queue. No elements are there in the queue right now. Insert operation. See, this is the basic logic of insert operation. If friend is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1, it means the queue is empty. Therefore, make friend is equal to 0 and rare is equal to 0 and then insert the element at of rare. Otherwise, increment rare and insert item at of rare. That's all the logic for insert operation. Anyway, we will insert elements. Let us insert 10. Right now, friend is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1. Therefore, if we have to insert 10, we have to make friend is equal to 0 and rare is equal to 0. And we have to insert 10 at a of rare, a of 0. Yes, 10 is inserted. Let us insert 20. So now, what we have to do is, we have to just increment rare and we have to increment, we have to insert 20 at a of rare, a of 1. Let us insert 30. Increment rare. And insert 30 at EF rare, EF2. So 30 is inserted at EF2. Let us insert 40. You have to increment rare. Yes, 3. Insert 40 at EF rare. That is EF3. Yes, 40 is inserted. Let us insert 50. Increment rare. Yes, rare becomes 4. Insert 50 at EF rare. That is 50 is inserted at EF4. Yes, 50. Now, the queue is full or as rare is equal to size minus 1. 
rare is 4 and size is 5. So, rare is equal to size minus 1. Therefore, the cube is full. Insertion can be done only at the rare end. Very important. Now, when rare is equal to size minus 1, the Q is considered to be full. Carefully understand this. When rare is equal to size minus 1, the Q is considered to be full. Even though there may be few vacant positions at the beginning of the Q. There may be few vacant positions at the beginning of the Q. But when rare is equal to size minus 1, the Q is considered to be full. This is a disadvantage of linear Q. And this disadvantage is overcome in circular Q. Now, let us write the function also. Simple. Uh, if rare is equal to size minus 1, the Q is full. We cannot do insertion. Otherwise, if front is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1, the Q is empty. Therefore, both front and rare should become 0. And then, here yeah, rare is equal to item. Otherwise, increment rare and insert the element. That's all the function for uh, inserting an element into a linear Q. Quite simple. Now, let us consider the array. And array has 5 elements. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That is a linear queue. Initially, the queue is full. Now, uh, the array is used to implement linear queue. Therefore, the queue is full. And hence, print is equal to 0 and rare is equal to 4. Yes, print is equal to 0. Rare is equal to 4. The queue is full. In tier 5, yes. Size is equal to 5, yes. Delete operation. What is the basic logic of delete operation? If front is equal to rare and both of them not equal to minus 1, there is only one element in the queue. And hence, item is equal to your friend, take that element and then make front is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1. Because when there is only one element, after deleting that element, friend should become minus 1 and rare should become minus 1. Otherwise, take the element out, item is equal to your friend and then increment friend. So, while deletion, friend should be incremented. Very good. Let us see. Let us delete the front element. So, what is the front element now? 10. So, first take 10 to item. Yes, 10 is taken to item. Then increment the front. Front is incremented. Yes, front becomes 1. Let us delete the front element. Which is the front element now? 20. So, 20 should be taken to item. And then front should be incremented. Front becomes 2. Let us delete the front element. Which is the front element now? 30. So, 30 should be taken to item and then friend should be incremented friend will become 3 let us delete the friend element which is the friend element now 40 so 40 should be taken to item friend is incremented friend becomes 4 now let us delete the friend element which is the friend element 50 but since 50 is the only element and uh, front is equal to 4 and rare is equal to 4. Both of them are equal and they are not equal to minus 1. Make front is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1. Therefore, take out 50 to item and then make front is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1. Now the queue becomes empty. Yes, all the elements are uh, deleted. The queue becomes empty. Now the queue is empty as front is equal to minus 1 and rare is equal to minus 1. Deletion can be done only at the front end. Very good. Now, let us write the function for delete Q, deletion in a linear Q. Yes, front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1. Q is empty, deletion cannot be done. Otherwise, yes, take the front element to item. If front is equal to rear, make front is equal to minus 1, rear is equal to minus 1. Otherwise, increment front and also print F the deleted element. That's all the uh, function for deleting an element in a linear queue. I think it's quite simple. Now, let us discuss a display function. So, uh, uh, five elements are there in the queue. Initially, the queue is full and hence front is equal to 0 and rear is equal to 4. Yes, the queue is full. Front is equal to 0, rear is equal to 4. Yes, in five size, okay, no problem. Display operation. Logic for display operation is if front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1, then the linear queue is empty. Very good. Otherwise, display the elements of the linear queue from front to rear. It is very simple. Front to rear. Now, initially, i is equal to front. In our case, i is equal to 0. So, i is equal to 0. Now, i is less than rear. Yes, 0 is less than or equal to 4 because rear is 4. Therefore, display e of i. That is e of 0. 10 and increment i, i becomes 1 
and again 1 is it less than or equal to 4 yes 1 is less than or equal to 4 therefore display f1 f1 is 20 and increment i next 2 is it less than or equal to 4 yes 2 is less than or equal to 4 display f2 and increment i so f2 is 30 is displayed and i is incremented again 3 is it less than or equal to 4 yes 3 is less than or equal to 4 therefore display a of 3 a of 3 is 40 and increment i i becomes 4 now 4 is it less than or equal to 4 yes 4 is less than or equal to 4 therefore display a of 4 a of 4 is 50 and increment i i becomes 5 now 5 is it less than or equal to 4 no 5 is greater than 4 now all the elements are displayed that's all simple now we'll consider the function also display function very simple if front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1, Q is empty, nothing can be displayed. Otherwise, elements of the Q are put a for loop. I is equal to front, I is less than or equal to rear, I plus plus, print all the elements. That's all the display function. I think display function is also quite simple. The display operation and the display function are quite simple for linear Q. Now, we shall consider the main program, functions and the main program for linear Q. Already we have done. I'll just go through this. Yes, I is in Q. Initially, front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1. Yes, insert into a linear Q. Already we have done this. Yes, the same function. Inserting into a linear Q. This is deleting. Yes, we have done this also. How to delete an element from a linear Q. And this is display operation. Yes, display operation for a linear Q. And this is the main program. Yes menu yes enter your choice based on the choice you switch yes call insert if it is one call delete if it is two call display if it is three and exit default so that's all the uh, main program and the functions for linear queue i think linear queue operation is very simple you should know clearly the operation of inserting an element into the linear queue deleting an element from the linear queue and displaying all the elements of the linear queue I think it's quite simple, quite straightforward.